What's up, YouTube? It's your boy West Chase, all gas, no brakes. Back with another cryptocurrency update family. Hope you guys are having a great night out there. Uh, we're going to get right into it in this video. If you are new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Without further ado, let's dive in. So the CEO of Luna, Duquan, has come up with a whole new revival plan. But many people in the community seem to think that this plan will not work. Also, we have a couple heavy hitters in this crypto space, like the CEO of Binance, CZ, and the founder of Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin. They think this plan won't work also. Um, but the funny thing is, a similar situation happened to Ethereum back in 2016, uh, where Ethereum had to also go ahead and create Ethereum Classic. But Ethereum did end up bouncing back, hence the reason uh, they are the number two crypto in the world next to Bitcoin. So I say that to say this, you never know what can happen. Um, Duquan just might have the right plan to work and bounce back. But I think it's going to take um, a lot longer than we all expect. Being there's about 6.2 trillion in total circulating supply. That's a lot. You know, when just a couple weeks ago, we were sitting at 340 million. You know, we simply got to find a better way to start these massive burns. You know, we got to got to decrease that circulating supply or else we won't ever see any kind of price action. So according to CoinMarketCap.com, Terra CEO Duquan broke his silence with a new revival plan for the ecosystem. But Vitalik Buterin and CZ doubt it will work. Terra continues to deal with the fallout of its collapse as the community and its leadership scramble to save what is left of the ecosystem. Duquan published a post in the Terra forum where he outlines his vision for how Terra can continue operating. Duquan admits that the UST stablecoin has lost too much trust to exist in its current form. Even if the peg were to eventually restore after the last marginal buyers and sellers have capitulated, the holders of Lunar have so severely been liquidated and diluted that they will lack the ecosystem to build back up from the ashes. While a decentralized economy does need decentralized money, UST has lost too much trust to its users to play the role. Quan proposed forking the Terra chain and resetting network ownership to 1 billion tokens, which should be distributed as follows. 40% to Luna holders before the depegging, 40% to UST holders pro, 10% to Luna holders at the final moment before the chain got halted, and 10% to the community pool. Quan closed with an appeal to continue working on Terra's vision that a decentralized economy needs decentralized money and that the ecosystem needs to be preserved. CZ and Vitalik Buterin, critical of Terra. Duquan was slammed by crypto Twitter for the failure of Luna and UST, especially considering his hubris during the project's good times. Now, Binance CEO CZ and Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin weighed in as well. Buterin voiced his criticism of UST's promise to be uncollateralized stablecoin without pointing out the inherent risk of such a model. He made it clear that UST had no business comparing itself to over collateralized stable coins like DAI. And there's also a Twitter post that Vitalik replies to it says, stop experimenting with Ponzi's, algo stables, yields farming, and other unsustainable nonsense. Start experimenting with public goods funding, governance styles, decentralized identity slash reputation, regenerative finance, and privacy tools. Vitalik then says, agreed hard on this, but the one quibble that algo stables has become a propaganda term serving to legitimize uncollateralized stables by putting them in the same bucket as collateralized stables like DAI, RAI, and we need to really emphasize that the two are very different. Touching upon the revival plan for Terra, Buterin stressed that smaller holders should be prioritized. Strongly support this coordinated sympathy and relief for the UST smallholder who got told something dumb about 20% interest rates on the US dollar by an influencer, personal responsibility, and SFYL for the wealthy. The second way to prioritize smaller wallets, people who had a couple thousand or more UST deposited an anchor. If Terra just focused on the poorest 99.6% wallets, then they could make this gigantic group 100% whole. Yes, you read that right. And I have to say that I agree with this. If they help out the 90%, um, the poor people, uh, which made up a majority of the holders, I think that will in some form make up for all the loss that they had with this whole Terra Luna situation. 
Uh, we're going to read the, the last post by CZ that basically summarized his um, thoughts on the situation. Um, he says that I am not always right, but my perspective is failure can slash will happen. But when they do, transparency, speed communication and owning responsibility to the community is extremely important. And I definitely have to agree with CZ on that. And it also says here, while both founders shied away from criticizing Quan personally, the pushback on the revival plan was notable. It remains to be seen whether this will spark adjustments or even a reaction from the controversial Terra CEO. Now, um, currently Luna sits at about three zeros, one eight eight one, and we're down about five percent over the last twenty four hours, down a hundred percent over the last week. Um, this chart looks absolutely terrible, if you ask me. Now, is there hope for Luna? There might be hope. But just looking at this chart, it kind of looks like there is no hope. But at the end of the day, you got to keep good faith. Um, I truly believe that this might actually have a chance. Because um, take a look at this. Uh, being that we're kind of much degents in this cryptocurrency space. You know, we deal with meme coins a lot, you know. And um, Luna is kind of like a big meme coin at the end of the day only difference is it's easier to access you know a lot of people are not familiar with uniswap but when you have a token like terra luna who's on all major centralized exchanges and real real easy to access you can just buy it just like that you know on trustworthy centralized apps you know it gives the public an easier chance to get this product now will this thing take off only time will tell. Will it tank? Only time will tell. But you got to take this with a grain of salt. Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. I threw a little bag into there, about 500. I am down on the play, but it's something that I knew that I probably wouldn't get back due to the current situation of Luna. Now, let's say this thing decides to turn around and this 500 turns to 50 grand. I'll be happy as hell, you know? at the end of the day but hey if it doesn't and it tanks oh well it is what it is i live to fight another day i knew exactly what i was getting myself into i basically think that the founder of luna has to slow things down man um i know the public is kind of rushing him to like get things moving i think he just basically needs to step back take a deep breath um figure out his resources you know continue the burns you know we got to get that 6.2 trillion down to 300 million like it was you know otherwise we won't ever see any price action and this luna thing is just gonna be over with literally this time so hopefully he can overturn things he basically wants to come out with lunar core and luna classic um putting a fork to the situation um the community seems to disagree so far they're actually gonna have the results for the voting tomorrow so we'll see what happens um i'm truly hoping this thing turns around you know for the better because a lot of people took major losses with this project so hopefully they can get a, a rebirth you know a new beginning you know but the ust stablecoin is over with right now it's all about luna hopefully we can overturn things and see the moon but it's your dog west chase all gas no brakes appreciate you guys kicking it with me and i'll catch you guys on the next video thank you for watching